This is Chagas disease by Jose Valle. Now what is Chagas disease? Chagas disease refers to the chronic infection caused by the Trypanosoma cruzi parasite. Trypanosoma cruzi can be found in many areas of South and Central America, including Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico, having over time infected over 16 million people. The infection typically occurs through insect bites, but can also occur through contact with the insect droppings or through contaminated blood, whether from human organ transplant or blood transfusion. Symptoms of Chagas disease occur in two phases, the initial acute phase and then the chronic phase. The initial or acute phase begins right after the infection and can typically last from weeks to months after the initial point. This disease is typically symptom-free, but can show some mild unrelated symptoms, including fever, muscle aches, nausea, and fatigue. One of the most telltale signs of infection is called Romana sign. This is shown right here as a swelling of the eyelid. This indicates where the bug bit or where feces accidentally came into contact. During this phase, 90% of the individuals affected seem to gradually improve over a period of 3-8 to eight weeks. However, this disease in this phase has been shown to be fatal only to immunocompromised individuals. Regardless of treatments, the disease eventually moves to the chronic phase in two forms, indeterminate and determined. The indeterminate chronic phase, also referred to as the asymptomatic phase, affects 60-80% to 80 of infected individuals, essentially leaving them completely disease free. Opposite of that is the determinant chronic phase. This affects the remaining 20 to 40 percent of cases and results in the development of life-threatening cardiac and digestive disorder. One of the most common potentially fatal developments of Chagas disease is cardiomyopathy. Now this is a weakening of the heart wall leading to an enlarged and weakened heart. This kind of symptom can usually go unnoticed for many years, increasing its deadliness. Going back to the underlying cause of child disease, which is the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi. This belongs to the Trypanosome family of parasites, which are vector-borne parasites, typically feed on blood cells, and have been known to persist in organisms for years after the initial infection, creating a sort of natural reservoir. This parasite has a life cycle that requires more than one host. In this example is the initial vector host, and then the final host. In the initial host, the parasite takes the form of a trypomastical form, also called the infectious stage. Inside the final host, it is the amastigote or growing stage. The primary vector for the Chagas disease is the triatomine family of insects. These are hematophagus or blood feeding insects. Other names for these insects include assassin bug, kissing bug, or the local favorite, chinche. The disease is typically due to the use of antiparasitic drugs, benzodiazole and nifurtimox. Both of these drugs, especially if done early, have a 100% efficiency rate. For cardiomyopathy patients, a heart transplant is usually the most common form of treatment, especially after detection. Despite the treatments, the most effective way to fight the disease is through prevention. That is in the form of vector control, screening donors, or education for the public. This concludes my video on Chagas disease. Thanks for watching. Created using Powtoon.